Thank you for auditing Professor Sky's record review, the always positive new music review show hosted by a French professor outside on his porch. I would be inside, you know, outside here, you might hear crickets and lawn mowers, but inside my family is making their Halloween costumes. And I'll tell you what they're making at the end of the video. That's called engagement. I've got 5,000 subscribers now. I've got to keep it up. I'm going to be reviewing an album called Keep Checking Up On Me by Chartreuse. And I'm not sure exactly how they pronounce their name. Even though their name is Chartreuse, which as a French professor I want to pronounce as Chartreuse, I believe they are from England, from the town of Birmingham. Now just a quick little French lesson in case you didn't know. The, the, the term Chartreuse refers to a color, and there is a specific color to which it refers. This is the color. It's a specific kind of green that pertains to an alcohol that is made in the town of Chartres, made by the monks in the town of Chartres, and that's why it's called Chartreuse or Chartreuse. Now, I don't know why this band named themselves Chartreuse because their album cover is actually red. And at no point do they sing about alcohol or do they sing about uh, the color green. But still, this is a very interesting album and really worth a listen. It's only 60 minutes long, it's an EP, but if you like contemplative, engaging, well-produced, very well-written rock and roll music, this is an excellent album for you. I'm going to be titling this something with an obnoxious uh, thumbnail. I'm going to be doing that because I want to get more views, and I know when I review uh, uh, bands like this, I don't get that many views, but I really think you should listen. I'm going to be comparing them to the bands that I thought of when I listened to them for the first time, which is sort of a good band that I love and a band which I like less. Bon Iver and Coldplay. I think they share a lot of traits with Bon Iver. I have to pronounce them with a French term as well. But the sort of mystical beauty of their songwriting and production. Uh, the vocalist has at times this nice kind of mumbled clarity, which Bon Iver, Justin Iver often, often has. And then we sort of have Coldplay, a little bit more sometimes down the middle rock and roll music with a vocalist that is similar to a sort of like the Chris Martin's kind of downbeat, slightly preachy side. I think if you put them together, you would end up with this band Chartreuse. But that said, this is definitely the kind of band where like, I could imagine them releasing an album and having it just be a masterpiece and everybody knows about it, because there are so many promising things on this album. Not the least of which are the lyrics. The lyrics all the way throughout are that perfect combination of like deep and mysterious to the point where they, most of their lyrics are those kinds of lyrics where you understand what they mean even though you don't know what they mean, right? Like you understand the deeper sense of it without actually understanding the precise words. Uh, their production in general is quite good. They seem like they're just like a rock and roll band, but they know when to not have all the players play at the same time. They know when to leave space. They know when to use different instrumentation. Like, you know how there was that, that phase in the 90s and the 2000s when, when rock and roll bands all of a sudden realized, hey, we don't have to have every song, just guitar, drums, and bass, and vocals. It feels like this is a band that's arrived at that point already. They're very selective with their instrumentation. There's nothing electronic on here at all, um, but whenever that happens, I often feel like that means it's going to be something kind of intentionally throwback, and there's nothing throwback here. It's all very, just very well-constructed, very well-produced music. Now, this lawnmower that's going on behind me is driving me crazy. If it's okay or terrible, would you please put it in the comments because I'm getting a little like crisis about it. But what that lawnmower is doing is cutting down tall grass. That is an unintentional pun, an unintentional segue to the first track on the album, Tall Grass, which is a very brave opening track because it's very muted. There's no drums, it's very downbeat, it's completely ly uh, lyrically led. Uh, all these lyrics about my mind is cloudy but the sky is nothing but blue. The sky is blue as well, and Sky is wearing a blue uh, blazer. Kind of a nice, you know, his British accent comes through. I really hope they're from England and not from Birmingham, Alabama. I don't think they're from Birmingham, Alabama. I just saw that they were from Birmingham in my five minutes of research. But a very nice aching song about like personal resignation, alienation, uh, and all is matched by the music. It develops really nicely all the way throughout. There's lots of great, uh, lots of great dynamics, and it's excellent. Just this, this image of him in the tall grass, it actually reminds me a fair amount of the lyrics to All I Need by Radiohead, where he's talking about I'm in the middle of your picture lying in the weeds. This figure, now used in two different songs of just somebody who's in tall grass, like sort of there and not there at the same time. Very beautiful song, just 
just give it a shot, would you? Like, seriously, have a listen to this and, and come back and tell me, like, thanks, Sky, I think you're right. This is the kind of thing that I like. The next track, Enemy's Belly, is a great song about being a coward and the importance of being a coward. Pride and cowardice, where is your spine? I left it at my mother's bedside. Really good drums. It's nice to hear there's a drummer on here. This is where the vocals are the most Chris Martin-ish, but they're not too preachy and they're not too annoying. Then we get to the track, which I will call my stamp, Keep Checking Up On Me, uh, which is just a great song. Right? Just, just that title itself implies a certain submission, a kind of weakness, and a lot of this album seems to be about admitting and understanding your own weaknesses. So all the way throughout, he talks about having greyhounds that don't run. It reminds me a little bit of Helplessness Blues by the Fleet Foxes, just that sense of like, I'm an adult now, but am I really an adult? Can I really do anything? This lyric keeps on popping up over and over again. Uh, my parents bought me a saw. I didn't look after it. I didn't feed its hunger. And it's interesting because I can't tell if he's saying my parents gave me a saw or my parents gave me a soul. I believe he says saw. Either way, I think both of them work. And this is a good example of the kind of lyrics where like I sort of get it. My parents gave me a saw, like, you know, gave him some capacity to take care of himself, to do things for himself, but he isn't quite capable of doing it. And then just repeating over and over again, hollow and broken, with all of a sudden, kind of out of nowhere, a female vocalist is underneath in the chorus. And the drum comes in and just gets really pounding and really nice piano underneath. This is the song I'm going to play for you a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to play you a little bit of the title track off of the Keeping, uh, Keep Checking Up On Me by Chartreuse. No affiliation, I assume. It's actually a very nice digestif after, you, uh, after you've had a big meal. But I So, as you can kind of get a sense of some of the dynamics that are happening here. And the vocal is just really quite nice and haunting all the way through. The next song, the female vocalist that was heard there, I assume, gets her whole own song. And this, the, it takes a whole different, whole different tone, it becomes very like jazzy with the song Blue State, which is not about like a blue state in the American political sense, just a state of being sadness. Kind of like organs, very sultry, solid song. And it shows that I, th I think if they took, oh my God, the lawnmower stopped. Should I re-record the whole video? <laughs> it is so nice when they stop. Uh, just a really nice song, very solid, very sultry, uh, and very jazzy. Then it then leads into the last track, Hope You Aren't Holy, which is a funny song about the sort of the, the point where an object of your desire becomes real. Someone that you like or someone that you want to like becomes a real human being. I hope you're not holy. I hope you're not some, you know, something that I don't like. And what's really nice about this song, and this is maybe the best example of the bravery of their production, it's this single voice with a guitar with just faint doubling behind the single voice. And then at a certain point, there's this whole just chorus that pops up behind in a weird restrained way it's not like a gospel chorus it's like a restrained chorus comes underneath and just sings with the guitar and the bass and it's just a really beautiful very well produced song that even at some point becomes kind of a cappella. and he just asks this question how can i bottle this feeling i suppose how can i bottle this innocence before i learn the truth about the person i desire i don't know and how can i bottle the lawnmower stopping i just can't so there you go. If you, know, if you are like someone like me who's constantly trying to find good, interesting, well-developed rock and roll bands that are doing things that can't quite be put in a single genre, that can't quite just be described very easily, that are doing things sort of at a, at a higher level, I really think you should give Chartreuse a chance. But they're actually getting closer now, so I gotta go. The Halloween costume that my daughter is making for herself inside out of foam is from the video game Among Us. She's going to be a crew member. If you know the game, you know what that means. Maybe I'll show them on camera sometime. Uh, not my kids, the costume. Okay, well then, for the monks of the town of Chartres, there's the camera.